Hey everybody, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about one of the most common light fixtures that I have seen in my last few years of technical show business. It's the cheap light, it's the useful light, it's the most versatile light. It's this guy. It's the PAR cam, the PAR wash light. Um, I just want to talk to you guys because I see a lot of people out there who go buying their own lights, little bands, um, DJs and stuff. I just want to make sure you're getting the right stuff. Um, so let's just get right off. Um, what makes a PAR can a PAR can is the PAR lamp. Now the PAR lamp is a three in one lamp. It's got the actual light source inside. Then it's got a lens that's this frosted part. And then it's got the actual PAR. Now PAR stands for Parabolic Illuminized Reflector. Um, and it's basically all it does is it shoots the light out in a parabolic fashion. Um, if you're really going on the cheap and you're looking for cheap PAR cans, don't go so cheap that you can screw in the light bulbs like you do at your house. Okay, because those aren't real PAR cans. Real PAR cans are going to have these little tongs right here, and all you have to do is take a ceramic socket, you can pull it out of the fixture, clip it on the side, put your lamp in, and then close the back of the fixture. If you cannot do that, um, or something like that, don't buy them. They're not worth it. They're really probably not going to last you that long. Um, another thing about lasting a long time is what the fixtures are actually made out of. Um, these fixtures um, were inherited uh, and were most of them were broken uh, from a church. But these guys are nearly 25 years old. And they've lasted pretty well. Uh, there are very few of them have deep dents, dents or scratches. They've been refinished twice, um, the last time within the past year. Um, these guys are made out of hardened steel, which makes them heavier, but a lot more durable. Um, and most modern PAR cans that you find are going to be made out of aluminum, whether that's brushed aluminum, polished aluminum, or aluminum that's been painted black. Um, mainly because it's cheaper, but if you're willing to have something that's going to last you a long time, try to find steel. Try to find steel PAR cans. Um, because I've seen a lot of PAR cans that are made out of aluminum, and one or two years down the road, they're completely trashed. They're full of dents. They've got pieces that are coming off. They've got little vents that have been punched in. Um, and they, they're just not tight. They don't fit tightly together. When you put the backpack on, it wiggles a lot. And just stuff like that that is just really quality killing. And if you're having to move, move it up and down all the time, you don't want to hear this <laughs> of all the pieces moving around. Um, okay, lenses. The second part um, of... The PAR can. You can see up here, I've got a couple different kinds of lenses. You can tell these are obviously different. What you might not be able to tell is that far one, which I'll show you better in a minute, um, and, and these two. These two are the same, the far one's not. This is the narrow flood that I showed just a minute ago that was out of the PAR can. Um, this is a narrow flood. This is a medium. This is pretty much the industry standard as far as PAR cans. Uh, a medium flood is just the one that's used. Now, to show you the wide flood, that's the wide flood, that's the medium flood. You can see how it has just a few more rows and a few more columns of fly's eye um, little lenses in there. Um, fly's eye lenses are pretty much the standard. Um, and it's good stuff. It's, it's um, you know, transparency is obviously incredibly good and it's widely used among the industry. Um, let's see, what else? Um, wattage, as far as what you need with wattage. Okay, if you're a small band and the lights are going to be really close to you, don't use the 1000 watt lamps. Uh, a 1000 watt lamps are meant for full size auditoriums and things like that where you have to throw light, you know, 30, 40, 50 feet to the stage. Um, if you're going to be standing five feet away from a lamp, a thousand watts is going to be too bright and really hot. These things get really, really, really hot. They're notorious for being hot. Um, because they're not LED, they're, you know, they're just going to get hot. Um, especially this metal stuff, it's, it's going to burn you if you touch it while it's on. Um, so, 
I use 300 watts because a lot of my things are smaller. I don't have a lot of competition with ambient light. I, don't, I only need 300 watts. That's all I need. It gives me sufficient light and I've got 12 of these fixtures. So with 12 fixtures and 300 watt lamps, I can get enough light to cover almost anything that I could need. Um, they also make 500, which is for like, okay, if you have to shoot light 10, 20 to 30 feet, and then a thousand watt is 20, 30, 40, 50 feet um, of getting your light out there. Um, let's see. As far as once you've got your lights, make sure that you have good clamps. Uh, I use the light sources mega clamps. I trust those beyond anything. Um, I would not suggest anything less than that for a safety, you know, from a safety point of view. Um, I've used a lot of cheap stuff and oh, it's sketchy. You know, you get a lot of people walking up to you and asking you, is that really safe? You know, is, are you sure that's safe? And you know, maybe if your lights aren't insured or something like that, you, you and you're doing rental stuff, you really need to get some mega clamps or some, maybe some cast, cast um, Altman clamps um, or something like that. Um, and on that note, safeties. Uh, make sure that whatever the weight of the fixtures are, these guys are about 20 pounds. Um, make sure that your safeties are rated for 10 times the weight of your fixture. So that would need to be a 250 pound safety. I use 750 pound safeties on these fixtures. So that's really all you need to know when you're hanging them. Make sure you're using the right grade aluminum. Make sure you're using stands that are meant to hold your lights and can hold the weight of your lights. This is a 600 pound test, 12 foot crank stand. And that's an aluminum bar, uh, aluminum, aluminum pole that I got. Um, just make sure you're, you're using stuff that is safe. Um, make sure that your dimmer packs are rated for the right wattage that you're using. Make sure you're using the right wattage in your fixture and make sure that you're using the right rigging equipment to keep everyone safe, everyone happy, and get exactly the effect that you want. Thanks.